Imagine living in a world where you are constantly touching bodies with your peers. Now imagine rubbing bodies that are consistently blowing out snot. Well, bees may not be affected by the common cold, a fungal pathogen known as Ascophera apis causes a chalk brood disease in all buzzing buddies. But who are these bees, anyways? Honeybees, aka Apis mellifera, are members of Phylum Arthropoda class Insecta. Scientists believe that this species originated in Southeast Africa and that they have been meandering on this planet for over one million years. Honeybees are organisms that live a highly socialized and communal lifestyle. The compact nature of hive life makes them particularly susceptible to transmission of disease within and across generations. The aforementioned chalk brood disease constitutes a major threat to honeybee populations. Chalk brood disease operates like a parasitic wasp. First, larvae ingest fungal spores that navigate to their bellies. The disease then eats its way out of the lava, killing them in the process. When adult drones remove the dead lava, they themselves are contaminated with spores, and the cycle continues. Do you want a dirty bee? No! Just one dirty bee can bring down a whole colony! Well, you may think bees are small, they pull more economic weight than you ever will. In 2007, the UK's National Audit Office sought to quantify the contribution of bees to its economy. The number they settled on was one billion pounds. How can we stop these important economic contributors from getting chalk brood disease? <sighs> By doing absolutely nothing! In previous studies, researchers observed antiseptic behavior by honeybees on a colony level. When bees sense disease, they remove infected larva from a hive in order, in order to prevent further contamination. The paper we chose seeks to identify what is causing said antiseptic behavior. In other words, how do the bees know to do what they already do? What cues do bees respond to? Researchers wanted to know what bees were sensing that was different between infected and healthy lava. Using a gas chromatography mass, spect mass spectrometry analysis, researchers discovered three volatile compounds present in infected lava that were not present in healthy lava. These were 2-phenylenethyl, phenylacetate, and benzene alcohol. With these compounds isolated, Researchers wanted to see if bees exhibited a physiological response when exposed to said compounds. Through the use of a coupled gas chromatographic electroanographic detection, researchers established a link between compound exposure and electroantenographic response. Essentially, the antenna of the bee picked up on the presence of each chemical compound independent of the other compounds. Now that the researchers could sense these compounds, <laughs> now that the researchers knew bees could sense these compounds, it was time to test the bees' colonial response to these chemical compounds. Earlier, bee colonies used in this paper had been ranked on hygienic scales based on how quickly they could remove infected lava from the hive. Researchers freeze killed and removed five small sections of comb from each hive. The 25 healthy lava of each section were then brushed with one of the chemical compounds under investigation and placed back into the hive. Four and 24 hours later, the level to which bees responded was measured. Note that the lava treated with water were not removed, and those treated with phenyl acetate were removed at the greatest rate. Researchers concluded the following from their study. 2-phenylenethyl, phenyl acetate, and benzene alcohol are emitted by lava infected with chalk brood disease. These chemical compounds elicit an electro response from drone bees resulting in the removal of infected lava from the colony. 
and olfactory sensitivity varies from colony to colony. The big picture? Bees can smell disease. And a sensitive bee, like a sensitive man, is definitely worth keeping. Nothing. I bees in the trap. Bee bees in the trap. I bees in the trap. Bee bees in the trap. Man, I'm busy.